Hey everybody, it's Jen, Jen Gear, Jen Storybox. I wanted to come to you really quick and talk about balancing your time. Do you use a calendar? Now, the quickest and easiest way to move your business quickly forward is balancing your time. You know, whether you have a busy family, small children, or even, you know, adult children, or whether you work three jobs, five jobs, 10 jobs, whatever it is, Everybody has 24 hours in a day. Everybody is extremely busy. Um, so this is a quick video, just some tips on balancing your time. The biggest thing you want to do is schedule your working hours. If you want your business to be more than just a hobby is what we're going to discuss today. This is for friends that want it more than a hobby, okay? Uh, if you just want it as a hobby, you're going to do it whenever you have time. 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. I totally get it. But for those of you that want a little more out of your business, you are really going to want to get yourself some sort of scheduling system. And excuse me. You're going to want to get yourself some sort of calendar, or some sort of scheduling system. Now, I use three calendars. I use this one that is around me all the time. It has what I'm doing daily. It has the monthly and then excuse me all my notes. And then it has my daily stuff that I need to do. The next calendar I use is a Google calendar. That's where I put all my stuff in there that repeats because you can repeat it every week. And then I add that to the handwritten calendar. So I know exactly what I have to do. The third calendar I use. Yes, that is the refrigerator calendar. So I don't forget really important stuff, really important things for my children when they have sports, um, when they have, uh, you know, appointments and things like that. So whatever works for you, whether you use your phone, whether you use a handwritten calendar, whether you, um, you know, use Google, anything like that, that's important to you, but you want to schedule your time. Now on my calendar, I make sure to schedule time to go to the gym if I'm not going to the gym to that day, I want to make sure I'm going to schedule in some sort of outside exercise or even like walk around a mall and in close place or something like that. You want to schedule that time. For example, for me, I work, I get up in the morning, get my fam, my husband ready to work. And then, um, I, I walk on my treadmill, but then I work from about 5 30 AM to 6 30 AM on my paparazzi business, it may be answering questions, it may be begging orders, whatever it is that morning. And then my children wake up and then I do not look at my phone. I get them ready, get them off to school. And then I go back to working whatever is on my business. When you put down hours that you are going to work your business, it is really, really important to do it, to spend the time on your business, to not be playing on Facebook, to shut off your Facebook or shut off your phone, put it in airplane mode and don't look at it. So set that time that you say, okay, 12 to two, I am working solely on my business. But then you're like, well, Jen, what do I do? What if I don't, if I run out of things to do? The crazy thing is, is when you shut off the electronics that take our attention, the people calling people, the texting, your phone's dinging like crazy. So you're going to stop what you're doing to look at your phone. Um, you will find what is important with your business and what needs done. It may be responding to a customer with a piece of jewelry that needs replaced. It may be taking care of a customer that wants to shop from you. It may be a team member that has a question. And then you can focus on that stuff. If now on the slip note, when you are with your family, be with your family. Yes, I said it. Don't be, don't be over here eating dinner, answering Facebook messages eating dinner, answering Facebook messages, be with your family, your kids notice. I know my children notice. So I shut my phone off and put it away. So that way they have me, um, set a daily plan for family, set a daily plan for your traditional job. If you have a traditional job or if you're full-time from home, set those times and those schedules, take breaks. You need brain breaks. You need power walks with friends to get to know stuff. You need time outside take breaks at least every hour. If you're working from home full time, uh, you're, you're probably like me. You feel like a vampire sometimes and you just don't go anywhere. 
you got to get out of where you're working and take a break. Maybe, maybe it's walking around the block and getting some energy and getting some blood flowing and things like that. You also want to set lunch dates. You want to, you know, whether you go have lunch with somebody or whether you just get out of the house for a little bit, go have coffee somewhere or go eat lunch. I mean, even if it's a fast food restaurant, getting out of your house or you know, setting those, those things. But the biggest thing is, is you got to schedule it, right? There's plenty of times that you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll do that. And I'll do that. And then it's the next day. And you're like, I didn't even write it down. You know, coffee dates. Um, your dog needs to go to the groomer. You really want to sit and schedule all of the stuff that you're going to do. You know, for me, for Facebook lives on, I will show you my previous month is, I would highlight, see these blue lines? These would be the days that I knew I was doing a Facebook Live, right? And the times that I did them. So schedule the time that you're going to do a Facebook Live. Schedule if you have an event coming up. Put it on your calendar. Why? Because you're going to see it and you're going to go, oh yeah, I got to do that. Oh yeah, I got to get ready for my show. I have a show tomorrow night. I got to get ready for it. Or order days, days that you're going to order. Um, if you want to grow, you've got to schedule your time. You got to think everybody has 24 hours in a day. If you want it more, sit down, schedule your day before it happens. So tomorrow is Thursday. What are you doing tomorrow? Is it written down? No. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, it's just the weekend. We'll have fun. Well, what are you doing? Are you going to hang out with family and friends or are you going to work? Are you going to spend an hour in the morning doing X, Y, Z? towards your business or or do you have plans to run errands and things like that schedule it down and it will make your day run so much smoother so much less stressed you know you think about kids last minute they'll be like mom i have a presentation tonight and you're like oh good good thing i have all this scheduled i can move it around really quick to make it happen so if you liked what i shared with you today leave a comment below say hello again my name is jen gear and if you're part of this jen gear page this is where i do my training so check the video tab so you can learn more bye everybody